welcome back to my channel. I'm Demi. So, have you guys ever wondered why different fruits or vegetables have different kind of color? Did you? No. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Why is things like a strawberry, guava, a kiwi? They may have like different colors, and there might be several reasons why. And maybe it's because their gene or their um, living environment is different. The way they grow it is different. This will also cause uh, nutrients of this fruits or vegetable to be different from the other color. So today I'm going to talk about different colors of um, bell pepper and how their nutrients are different from one color to the other. So for bell pepper, some of the common colors we see at the supermarket is green, orange, yellow, red, and I heard there's also white and purple, but I never see them in the market. And the reason why uh, bell peppers have different color is due to uh, the ripeness of bell pepper. So the green is the least ripe and then it's yellow, orange, and lastly red. In general, uh, bell pepper has a lot of water, 92% is water. Some um, carbohydrate around like 6 gram and then around 1 gram or less of protein and fat. And regardless of their color, they all have similar amount of calcium and iron. So first, I'm going to talk about red pepper. So red pepper is the most ripe one among all the colors. So it tastes more sweet. Its color is due to a lot of beta carotene. That is a, a form of uh, vitamin A. And also it's rich in vitamin C. If you compare 100 gram of uh, red pepper to 100 gram of orange actually red pepper has a lot more vitamin c than orange orange pepper may have the least nutrients among all those four colors and although it's orange like carrots but it actually doesn't have a lot of beta carotene in there it actually has the least beta carotene but it still shares some common um, nutrients like vitamin B6, uh, vitamin C, folate, all those nutrients, but it just doesn't have as much as the other ones. Next, let's look at yellow pepper. So yellow pepper also tastes a little bit sweet and it actually has more nutrients than red pepper, like higher amount of vitamin C, niacin, folic acid, magnesium, potassium, and phosphorus. Okay, next is green pepper. I finally know why a lot of kids they don't like eating green pepper because it's not ripe so that makes it a little bit bitter that's why. And green pepper um, shares some um, very common nutrients with other peppers as well like um, folic acid, niacin, uh, calcium, iron, but it has the most amount of vitamin K among the four colors. Next, the foam part. Have you ever seen any purple bell pepper or white bell pepper? I never heard of those until I start to search on this topic. I heard that um, purple bell pepper, also called purple Holland bell pepper. It was created and grown in Holland uh, since early 1980s. And it's purple on the outside, but green in the inside. It kind of looks like a very short version of eggplant, but it's not. But it shares some very common nutrients with the normal pepper, like vitamin A, folic acid, niacin, high fiber, all those things. Next is white pepper. 
but be careful, it's not this one. Is a white version of the green pepper. <laughs> when it's young, uh, it's kind of transparent and it's kind of like a white color. But when this breed or this kind of pepper mature, it actually shows more like a pale yellow color. And as you can guess from its color, it probably doesn't have much beta carotene. So it's very rare. I didn't see any purple bell pepper or white bell pepper in our supermarket here. And maybe you can comment down below if you have seen them in your supermarket. So because of that, I don't have much um, information about their nutrition value. Um, but uh, in general, peppers are pretty healthy. And it's low in calorie, high in fiber, and it's easy to cook. Like you can add it to your pasta, you can do stuff at bell pepper, you can stir fry with chicken or beef. There are a lot of recipes you can think of with bell pepper. That's all for today's video. Uh, we talk about six different colors of bell peppers today. So depends on the ripeness from green to yellow to orange to red. They are all in the same breed. And for white bell pepper and purple bell pepper, they're actually their own different breeds. So next time if you go to supermarket and you saw this purple um, bell pepper like vegetable, don't make a mistake. It's not a small eggplant. It's just a purple bell pepper. See you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you want to see more videos like this, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It will hugely benefit us and give us much more motivation to create more videos like this for you guys every week. Also, don't forget about our Instagram and TikTok. We post a variety of contents every now and then. Check it out. See you next time.